I'm here on the waterfront in Detroit and I'm talking about solar power. When you think of traditional solar panels, you think of those large black squares that are mounted on rooftops or in fields. But what if we were able to start getting our solar panels to look like this? An entire skyscraper dedicated to harvesting solar energy. A Michigan State professor is making that happen right now. So I'm sitting here with Professor Lunt, uh, a professor in the College of Engineering. Correct, I'm a professor of chemical engineering and material science. When I was growing up, I grew up just outside of the, uh, Boston, and I began to appreciate uh, the amount of area there is in not only glass, but just tall buildings in general. And there's often more area in the vertical footprint than there is in the rooftop footprint. Our, one of our thoughts was if we could turn these areas into solar harvesting surfaces, we could really make a big impact. This is a transparent luminescent solar concentrator. The way that this works is it's going to capture the parts of the solar spectrum that you can't see with your eye. So it's going to capture the ultraviolet and near-infrared parts of the solar spectrum. And that glowing infrared light gets guided to the edge of the glass, where we mount very thin strips of solar cells. And that's going to convert that energy into electricity. So now we are in the Molecular and Organic Excitonics Laboratory. And so this is a fully assembled uh, prototype of this type of technology. So um, I guess what we can do at this point is just hook this up and show you kind of how it works. So what I'm going to do now is just hook up the solar concentrator and we're going to shine the light onto the active layer and the fan moves. Generating power. That's right. So with much bigger windows, with the actual power of intensity of a sun. That's right you're going to do more than just be able to move a little fan. That's right, we're going to be able to power the building. Any building can start to uh, be a good solar collector now. So we can turn our solar farms into solar cities. When you're looking at a building like this, if we implemented your technology on this, how would this building look different? So the building will look exactly the same. It'd just be normal windows. That's, that's right. That's the that's benefit, right. right? That's right. And whether you're talking about the windows or the siding, the building will look exactly how you want the building to look. And you won't even know that the solar technology is even there. Is this something that could be retrofit onto old buildings? Yeah, that's actually a very important part of this technology, is we actually have the ability to not only integrate it during the window manufacturing process, but we can also make laminates where we can retrofit from the inside of the building. And so this type of technology allows us to really think about new construction as well as existing construction, but also other applications such as mobile electronics, automobiles, greenhouses. So the uh, applications are almost endless. We have glass up there, we have glass down here. Because we've developed this really scalable process, this really uh, scalable technology, I think we can start to see this uh, within a couple of years in products. Yeah. So that, that's our goal, is to uh, see products in a variety of areas within the next couple of years. So this isn't some far-flung thing, this is This, this is, is happening, happening now, yeah.